Hey there, welcome to another G.I. Joe War on Cobra Tips and Tricks video. Today I'm going to open up my buyout boxes for the Saw Viper and Paratroop event, and then I'm going to talk about the event that just started. So let's get right into it. So I'm going to go ahead and just get through this thing and buy a couple sets of five boxes each because I've got 6,000 coins and that will give me a total of 20 boxes. So I'm going to spend 10 boxes each side. I don't really care so much if I get saw vipers or hey a thousand diamonds 7500 credit that wasn't that was kind of cool but not so cool um, yeah anyway so that was a uh, the first of uh, five boxes let's go with the second one I'm getting whoa 215 saw vipers a neuro enhancer and master training manual and that was it wow that was a lot of saw vipers wow so that was the two uh, sets of five I was gonna I'm gonna open for the Cobra side, and that's a fair amount. I got the 95 saw vipers, and I'm guessing I got like a 60, and maybe a 35. I don't know. But uh, now I'm gonna jump over to the GI Joe side, and I'm gonna open two of the five box sets there as well. It's just pretty much straight up easy when I just do 10-10. As I was saying, I don't care as much about the Saw Vipers or Paratroopers, but this is a potentially great way of getting these units so you can level them up. I love I love the Paratroopers. So let's go ahead and 4-4 uh, four, four, and 1. So yeah, I got a interesting few of those. Let's go ahead and open up the first box. 10 Advanced Training Manuals. And three campaign medals, 500 diamonds, 2,500 credits, and that's it. That's right, credits always end the box. Yeah, I'm not going to complain about diamonds. Diamonds, for some people, are difficult to get. Box number two, 95 paratroopers, one silver cargo. Hey, I'm going to get more stuff. One gold cargo, I'm going to get more stuff. <laughs> 2,500 credits, and that was the end. Okay, I think I keep bumping my audio. Let's see, what's in the silver box? It is two Sky Storm, two Imp Blast, eight Steel Battalion. I'm starting to like the Imp Blast. 11 Sparks. I haven't used a Spark yet. Nine Vamp, two Paratroopers. Got some extra Paratroopers. Two Minute Speed Up, one of those. And 81 credits. What's going to be in the gold box? Let us, let us know. Let us find out here. Six bazooka. Okay. Seven beachhead. Ooh, I got a scarlet. 17 vamp. 10 devilfish. Eight smoke bombardment. Eight rocket barrage. I like those. One advanced training manual. And 192 credits. And that's it. We opened up all the paratroopers and all the saw vipers. Now let's jump into this next event today. This week we are aiming to get G.I. Joe Iron Jackets and the Cobra Maggots. And that's kind of cool. We had the Cobra Shrike two weeks ago. So we have the Iron Jacket Drone this week so it's kind of an even out there we had the rare gung-ho card also two weeks ago and now we get the rare cobra maggot card this week so i suppose it's kind of evening itself out just a little bit in that regards after a a kind of i'm not gonna say blob but, you know not a super excited common card event that we just had so let's take a look at these things. Calling all Iron Jack and Maggot fans. I am only a fan of Iron Jacket now because I understand what it is and what it can do if it's anything like the Shrike. Iron Jackets, Joe's all new hovering drones that deliver stunning blasts of energy in battle. It's a common card and it comes with the trait Stun Attack. This unit's attack temporarily disables enemies. You can rank it up and get the accelerated trait. This unit gets an increase to its movement speed. That'll make it nice the quicker it can move around. Rank it up to level 2 and you'll get the pure shock trait. This unit deals additional damage with its stun attack. So yeah, if the stun attacks weren't already bad enough, boom, let's make it bigger and, and um, stronger. 
the maggot. Now, I'm very interested in this maggot. I have one. I picked up the maggot pretty quickly after getting up to tier 5. And while it's not the best, most awesome thing, it's also at level 1. And I have this feeling that as it gets leveled up, it just might might become something. So I'm really anxious to get some more maggot cards if I can. Anyway, the Maggot is a destructive marvel for Cobra. Maggot's mounted artillery cannon is a force to be reckoned with, and that's that big thing right there they're talking about. As I said, it's a rare card, and it comes with the, the rank or the trait Active Weapon Turret. When a leader is at the controls, damage is increased as the character helps man the guns. Just like the Vamp, the Stinger, the Hiss, you throw a hero or a villain onto this thing, and that big gun can be fired. And it's got a yeah, halfway decent range. I, like I said, I like it. Uh, the other trait that it comes with is Armored Unit. The armor grants bonus HP for the unit. So not only does it have the HP, but it also has its armor number. number. You can rank it up to 1 and you'll get the trait Shock and Awe. The Maggot's Artillery Cannon causes the primary target to be stunned when landing an attack. So the artillery cannon, I believe, is the big one that you have to have the hero or villain manned at. When it lands a, a damage, then you're going to stun the your opponent. Rank 2, you can get the trait Carbon Steel. This unit gets a bonus to their total armor, so the armor is a little bit stronger. Each member of the unit gains the indicated amount. So yeah, you can make this thing stronger. And if you can make it stronger... It's going to be kind of tankier and it's going to last longer. Maybe it, I think it's going to be a good one. You may want to keep an eye on this maggot here. Then we get the regular event info. You're going to get credits and diamonds and cargo boxes and manuals and this is and that's. You know, we're, we've gone through that drill before. It started yesterday. It's going to last till next Thursday. So what do we have to well let's like tell, let's take a quick look at these units well i can't look at the iron jacket unit because i don't got it yet you know anyone prior to this event all of us none of us had it i'm sure some of you have got it by now and it's a drone i would say liken it to the shrike whatever the shrike can do it can probably do now i'm gonna say better cobra seems in my in my world cobra seems more overpowered but what we can do is i can jump to the cobra side and we'll take a quick look at the maggot Wanted to show you what it was like in battle, but I don't think it's nearly as impressive. I don't want to give you that wrong opinion of the maggot. Um, so I'm not going to show it in battle. We'll talk about the maggot later more in depth when I have it leveled up a little bit more. But as you can see, I've got level 1. It has health of 193 and armor of 482. That's big. That's almost 700 health. We'll just call it all health, I guess, that it has. That's that's good. Damage is only 39, but the longer it stays out there, the more damage it deals, and you don't have to keep respawning or redropping that unit. It's got a range of 6, which is, av it says average. I mean, it's kind of average. It doesn't go all the way across the field like some things do, but it can hit a fair amount of things. The speed is 3, so it's not on the fast side. It's It says average, but I'd say it's on that lower end of being average. So I like it. Maybe it's just more of a, I like the idea of it. I had it as a uh, the several of these, actually, when I was young, and I loved these vehicles. I loved how you could take the back off, and it became like a little mobile operations unit. Comes with worms. The weird tan worm. Uh, but yeah, there's shock and awe. There's the carbon steel. Actually, I could upgrade for shock and awe, so I get the stun ability when I land a, a damage or land an attack. Hmm, cool. I might think about that one. But anyway, I think it has the potential of being a neat vehicle. If you're not tier 5, you don't have it. Even if you're tier 5, you might still not have it, but you have a better chance of getting it. If you're tier 5 or higher, I'd concentrate on getting those iron jackets and... Because you're going to get maggots. Um, prior to the event, I mean, if you look here, down the left corner, I've got 25 cards, 25 maggot cards, and that's just random chests getting opened. You're going to get them. If you're not tier 5, I'd recommend trying to get a maggot. You might not use it now, but once you have that ability, then there might be people in your alliance that don't want it or don't like it, and you can request the maggot cards and you'll get more.
it's always good to at least unlock a unit that way you always have the ability to ask others for cards like for example uh, someone in my, a couple people in my alliance absolutely detest blowtorch I'm not the biggest blowtorch fan in the world but because of that kind of made a deal that I'm going to request blowtorch and you know how often do people in your alliances actually ask for epic cards it's probably a pretty rare thing I was lucky I've picked up like 12 or 13 from my alliance because people there don't like him and actually I've probably gotten more because I've got him to level two I probably had more cards and I'm just leveling them leveling these things up because I want to know what they can do I think there's gonna be some surprises with some of these characters as we get them leveled up anyway enough of that what's happening in the event let's take a look and I'll just say right off to be honest there is absolutely nothing nothing new here and so because of that stick around to the end of the video because I want to talk to you about videos going forward there is I don't want to really truly waste your time but I enjoy when you pop in and watch my videos so what do we have to, what do we have to do well we're gonna to have to gather the troops get 300 cards opening chess alliance people however you can get those cards 300 not anything abnormal something we've done before 12 conquest battles 12 player versus player battles and they don't have to all be battle cargo you can use battle cargo to get the goods to get the resources but anything outside of battle cargo will still count as a win only 12 of them you can do that today if you haven't already bolster your allies donate cards to your people if you're up where I am I think it was tier 4 or tier 5 I think it was tier 4 where all of a sudden you could request 20 cards well I can I don't know how it is for the lower levels it seems like I could only give like a few cards at the lower levels so I want to be careful what I say but where I'm at I can donate 10 cards so if three people pop up I can just boom we're done 30 cards not that hard and what I do in my alliance is um, when the event starts we start requesting our GI Joe cards then Sunday afternoon to Sunday evening I switch over to the Cobra side and then everyone starts asking and if there is still somebody who needs some GI Joe stuff going on then Wednesday before it all ends before these uh, missions you know wrap up we switch back to GI Joe side we only switch back and forth during an event that requires a card donation so campaign victories you only need six of them that's the story mode the yellow background with the character icon and you, you can do the first one over and over and over if you have higher ones that you need to complete or others or something maybe one of them that gives really good rewards that you like you don't have to use battle cargo but use battle cargo on the campaigns that you want the rewards from keep that in mind because in the past I've said you don't need a battle cargo in fact I've recommended in the past not to use battle cargo <laughs> for the game campaigns but if you've got rewards from a campaign use it challenge victories neither story mode moored what's a moored neither story mode or player versus player this is just the developers pre-created battles the red background with a white target icon you only need nine of those and actually some of these have really good rewards so you may consider using battle cargo for some of those if you need some oil or you need some Intel there's some good sea battles out there that'll give you a couple hundred thousand pieces of some of that stuff so if you need to top off your resources consider using your battle cargo for challenge victories total war victories this is where we're ending it total war victories only 15 any battle that you win will count except there was an exception either last week or the week before and that was when I played a campaign battle without battle cargo it didn't count when I used battle cargo with the campaign it did count so you may want to stick with um, challenge battles or conquest battles for this one um, I only know that because when I did the six campaign battles for the mission and I law I looked here I was still at one or two I didn't have six added on I was like huh that's kind of weird Cobra's the same you're gonna gather your troops 300 cards 12 conquest battles 30 donations 
six campaign battles, nine challenge battles, and 15 total war, except for campaign non-battle cargo battles. That's it. Nothing we haven't seen before. We've seen all of these before. They're getting pretty regular. They kind of change it up every other week, it seems like. Every other week, it seems like they've changed it just a little bit, and I'm keeping track of this. So that's what you do for the event. And I enjoy doing these event videos, but I also don't want to waste your time. I want you to get good information from my videos. That's the only reason I put them out, is I want to pass something on that I like or I enjoy or I think will be helpful. So to that end, this might be the last Friday event video that I put out. Why? Because I have gotten my hands on what I think is... I shouldn't say I've got my hands. I've put together what I believe is a pretty comprehensive list of the missions that we will be needing to finish in order to pass the event. And so my thought is to create a video for each of these missions and really talk about it, really detail how you win it, how you don't win it, and leave it at that. And then when these events come around, we are notified sometimes on Tuesdays, Wednesdays, Thursdays that you know what uh, the event's going to be, what uh, units we're going to get, and what battles and so forth. And so in the past, I haven't wanted to put a video out on Thursday evening because the event starts at 6 p.m., Thursday night for me. And I didn't want to put a video out that late. That's 9 p.m. Eastern, 6 p.m. my my time. And it was, seemed like it was kind of late. So I'd always wait to Friday to put this video out. By then, you know, there are a few, fair amount, few people that are thinking, hey, I'm already done. Not thinking, but they are already done. They're saying it. Uh, a few people, this might be helpful. But as time goes on, this is not going to be as helpful. So I'm thinking, putting those out and then referencing back to those videos so you can watch whatever video you need to be reminded how to complete it or maybe you just want to watch it. I don't know. Um, but that way you can choose a little bit better what videos to watch. That's my idea. You know, throw a comment down below. Tell me what you think of the idea. If this video is still helpful every single week, I'm happy to do it. It's I want this to be helpful. Anyway, that's the event this week. It looks fun. I can't wait. You know, I want to get some more maggots. I definitely want the iron jackets. I want to get those because I want some of those cards. Have a wonderful day and wonderful weekend. Actually, what I forgot to say is hit the like button if you enjoyed the video. If it was helpful, that helps the channel too. If you want to be notified of more of these videos, hit the subscribe button and that bell notification icon. Thank you for sharing some of your time with me today. Have a wonderful day and a wonderful weekend. Take this time to stay home, stay away from people, play some games, watch some of my videos. I have a 150 plus videos in the backlog. But anyway, have a wonderful weekend. Stay safe and stay healthy. We will see you in the next video.